Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Well, good morning. After a few showers and early thunderstorms that move through our area, many of us are drying out at this point. Just some lingering cloud cover and we'll toss in an isolated shower through the remainder of this morning. But that heavier rainfall from earlier on has quickly moved through from the northern tier, cutting right through the Wyoming Valley and getting into the Poconos earlier this morning. Good lightning with that. Some heavier rainfall, but no real gusty wind to talk about as that came through and now the area is drying out, so no additional rainfall for that morning commute, but there will be some showers and storms returning later today. We are going to find a good dry gap between about now and really middle of this afternoon, which will time out in just a second. But this warm front's what fired off the showers and thunderstorms. Now that the front is going through, warmer and more humid air can start to build in the rest of today. Then a cold front will drop in from the north. That's what will reignite showers and thunderstorms as we go into our afternoon, late afternoon and through this evening. How about temperatures in the 60s? For the most part, State College at 73, where we really haven't seen the rain yet. Williamsport at 65, Pottsville we're at 66, Hazleton starting off at 63 and just getting slightly more humid, but that will be much more noticeable as we go through this afternoon. And speaking of the afternoon, temperatures upper 80s to right around 90 today in some of the valleys, which is well above that average coming in the upper 70s. So by a good 5 to 10 degrees, even more so than that in a few areas. And that comfort index for the next 24 hours is showing things quickly getting more humid through the rest of this morning than staying very humid, sticky, steamy right through this afternoon and all the way into our night tonight. And then it actually stays humid for the next couple of days. It'll be the end of the weekend where we get some relief from that. And as far as any additional rainfall is concerned for the rest of the morning, it's just a spotty shower. And even going into our afternoon, it's again a spotty shower, an isolated rumble of thunder. By 3 o'clock this afternoon, showers and storms will start to develop in New York and near the northern tier. Those will drop through, and as they do so, a couple of different things we need to watch for. This week has been pretty tough as storms try to drop in from the north. They've been falling apart as they come into our area, so that is certainly something we'll need to take into account, but you can see some of those cells developing five, six, and onward as we go through the evening, then tapering off as we go through the middle of our night tonight. All of that being said, we have that severe threat to keep an eye out for. That highest severe risk will be through the northern tier, Wyoming Valley, Poconos, and through the northern Susquehanna Valley, not ruling out a strong to severe storm through the southern Susquehanna Valley. But the name of the game today is how well can these storms hold together from when they develop in New York and drop south. So this is something you'll really want to keep checking back for updates on. There'll be a fine line between that this afternoon. The severe threats with any storm that does develop, gusty wind, heavier rainfall, but any storm could also have some nice hail to go along with it. So that could be something to really keep an eye out for. We'll make it near 90 today for the high in your eyewitness weather forecast. Hot and humid showers and thunderstorms will develop the second part of today. And the wind is at 10 to 20 miles per hour in and itself. So it's a windy day all around. 68 for our overnight low tonight. There'll be an early shower or thunderstorm. Then we are mostly cloudy otherwise. 84 for the high tomorrow. It's humid again. And again, we'll have a shower or thunderstorm. Saturdays when the remnants of Laura arrive in our area will just be some off and on rain. Sunday clouds and sun. Monday looks beautiful. Then Tuesday and Wednesday will toss a shower into the mix and staying in the 70s.